Hi, I'm Ed from Curry's and I've been looking at the changes to Microsoft 365. That's the new name for Office 365. Don't worry, they've made some changes, but some of our old favourites, you know, Microsoft, PowerPoint, Word, they're still there. So anyway, to find out more about the changes to OneDrive, uh, I was joined by Hannah uh, and she's a evangelist at Microsoft. Hi, Hannah. Hi Ed, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, thanks so much for joining us to, with for some expert insight on Microsoft 365. You are very welcome. Do you feel like you're on Eurovision right now? <laughs> I do, yes. So <laughs> we far. need a gap. We need like that gap in time where you just go. Hi yes. Ed. Yes, <laughs> thank you Hannah. Yes, <laughs> nil poire. Okay. Great. Well, that's uh, uh, so. I'd love to get your thoughts about OneDrive because I it's something I use quite a lot. But um, for people watching who've never heard of OneDrive, can you kind of sum it up for them? OneDrive is part of the Microsoft 365 subscription. It is your essential cloud storage space. It's your personal space where you can put in your documents, your photos, your videos, anything that you want to keep safe and secure, or edit or share. One thing I think that really stands out for me, and I kind of mentioned it, is you can now work together at the same time. Once you've uploaded your document to uh, OneDrive, you get um, the option to share it and then collaborate, which is awesome in this day and age. So if you click the share button in the top right hand corner, you can then go into specify who exactly you want to share it to. You can send an email out uh, directly or you can copy a link and share that to somewhere else. Or you can open up uh, your Outlook calendar from that button directly and it will give you a draft email and then you can share. When you are when you are working together, you kind uh -huh. of really need to communicate. Um, yep. And, you know, so you'll make sure that you're not kind of uh, co copying over each other's work and stuff. So how do you do that? So you can, you can actually see that in front of you. Um, there is a way that you can just see uh, two letters. So if, for example, uh, with me, my name's Hannah Dethridge, so you would see HD in the corner and it would say Hannah is also working on this workbook or this document or this OneNote. Um, and then you can actually see them in real time, uh, typing or highlighting words or highlighting numbers. You can actually just see it happen in front of you. And it's so students can work on it as well. You can have all kinds of people working on all kinds of different stuff, right? Definitely. And um, there's so much you can do. For example, we could both be watching a movie we could play press play at the same time and we could be watching something together we could be on skype at the same time and then we could have word open and we could be doing a film review and we could just be doing all that together and um, it gives you a real sense of working together because you can collaborate in real time it's great for coursework great for home projects great for making party invitations whatever you want to do when you you're creating your document and let's say you want to ask someone to jump on and help you what's the best way of doing that i'd say let's go on Skype and I'd say um, I'd share the link to you so I'd probably just copy the link and post it into Skype and we can then talk to each other at the same time however if you can't do that say if you're speaking to your tutor and you're doing some coursework um, you can just see in real time that they're writing a comment and then you can write a comment back um, and then you can just keep that going so that you can have that conversation through a document which is really really cool. So it sort of gets to a stage where you kind of have this dueling conversation and then you're able to resolve the point and mm -hmm. then move on to to you know what font's best. Yeah uh, exactly. The answer isn't Comic Sans. Oh but... it's Windings. <laughs> windings. <laughs> do you speak Windings? That's I do. Fluently. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> One thing I've been, because I've been working from home a lot, as a lot of people have, and I've mm -hmm. been, so, been all about Microsoft Teams for me. Yeah. Um, and so the good news is that you will be able to use that on a home version of uh, Windows. Is that coming soon? It is. So um, if you've been loving Teams like uh, I have, like you have, having those awesome backgrounds that you can um, put over your your picture or your video, um, the good news is it's coming to Microsoft 365, the consumer version later this year. So we'll all be able to access Teams, we'll be able to access our chats, our calendars, um, our channels and our backgrounds. Well, as really you cool. say, I, I, uh, this actually background here is a fake Teams background. Um, it's just a, it's a, it's a neater version than my real life. So you can tell. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, that was some really uh, handy insights into uh, OneDrive. Uh, so we're looking forward to seeing what happens with that and also what happens with Teams. 
So thank you for coming on and sharing uh, your uh, expertise with us. You're very welcome. It's a was 10 that, points that, from me, Ed. I was going to say that ending was a bit Eurovision-y as it well. Was. Yeah. It was. Anyway, so thanks very much, Hannah. <laughs> You're welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.